He's such an interesting guy, too, because he's so unassuming. Yeah. Like, if you met him, you would have no idea. Yeah, I met him in Vegas. If you're yeah, just hanging yeah, out with him, yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, he's this friendly yeah. guy <laughs> who's just a stone-cold fucking killer when he gets in there. You know? Nah, he's good. He's, but he's that durable as well, you know? he's Yeah. You know, he knows what he's doing, man. But he doesn't throw, like, power shots. He's like, tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Just, just in your face, you know? Yeah. Touching, touching, touching. And he, I, I like him. He's good. He's amazing. Well, you know what? When you see how good Max Holloway is, then you got to appreciate how good Volkanovski is. Yeah. Because Volkanovski beat him twice. Second fight was very close. close a lot of yeah, people thought yeah, Max could have sure. won that fight. But the b bottom line is, everybody else, Max is running over. Yeah. Max, at some point, needs to go back to the champion Volkanovski. Now, Volkanovski is very aware. But one thing Volkanovski said very recently was that Max is taking too much damage and the chin of Max Holloway is gonna go because he got hit with a lot of shots yeah. last week in Ryan. And I think that's one of the things that people miss with Max Holloway is his toughness. They're overwhelmed by his offensive output, but Max is as tough as anybody in the octagon. Right. But at some point you gotta start moving ahead because every time it's like hitting the power button. Like right. those video games we used to play, RC. When I was, when we played Street Fighter or something like that, right? And your power bar goes down. Every time you get hit, the power bar goes down. And Volkanovski thinks now that at some point, very soon, Max Holloway won't be able to take those shots, and that's going to benefit him if they fight again. So when you think about a third matchup between the champion Alexander Volkanovski and Max Holloway, how would you see that playing out, DC? Because there are many people that thought that Max Holloway won the second fight when it went to decision, but the cards are what the cards are. So going yep. into a third fight, do you think that Alexander Volkanovski would be a heavy favorite against Max no. Holloway, or is this fight a toss up? It's gonna be a toss up again, because we've, Ryan, we've seen 10 rounds. Mate, there was uh, 10 rounds, and again, you, you talk about it, and I like, Obviously, you know, you're, you're going to get people that, uh, you know, say whatever they want. That's fine. But I mean, I think they're just missing the, the point of how competitive. Yeah, it was very competitive, even though, you know, I've got the, the two wins. But it just, you know, the, the, the chess match we'll have it in there. I just think he's, he's missed by too many people. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right. The people that uh, don't appreciate it just think it's a great fight. Mm -hmm. But the people that appreciate it and, and have seen a lot of fights and understand mm -hmm. like the, the high level aspects of it, they're like, wow, this is pretty special. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like it was pretty special. And uh, I think it's just so impressive that you have these two victories over Max when you look at how Max has performed with everybody else in the division. Mm -hmm. Like the last fight with Calvin Cater, who was mm -hmm. a fucking beast. Yep. And Max just lit him on fire. Mm -hmm. That was that was. In, in my opinion, like one of the most impressive performances. Oh, I've ever seen. it was a, a great uh, performance. That's how, again, like I'm the people. I, I'm going to give credit when credit's due. No, you he do. looked, he looked, he looked great. He did. You know, even I was like, wow. Like you know, what I mean, I said that. But then obviously afterwards, I go, yeah, you're hitting them numbers on these guys, but you ain't hitting them numbers when I'm in front of you. <laughs> but again, like it's a, you're obviously going to say that, and you know, people weren't going to be happy with that, but. But at the same time, again, you know what I mean? Like, he's a smart dude. He's got a high fight IQ. Yes. You have, you have certain habits. Their team's going to pick up on it. And Max is going to pick up on it. You exit a certain way, and that's the only exit. Mm -hmm. He's going to fucking piece you up if you keep doing that. Yeah. And uh, again, like, you know, there was, and I know no disrespect to, to Cater, but there were certain things that, you know, Max caught on and just fucking made him pay. He was being first and then fucking stayed on him. He was the first to, to get going. As soon as he, he got him where he knew he was going to direct him, just kept going. And then, but the way he even mixed that up, I don't think I've ever seen him mix kicks, knees no. so much. Like after our fights, I feel like, a, especially from the first to the second, his tool was always his jab, his hands, and the volume fight. And when like the second one, obviously, you use so many different tools. And this fight, you've seen him just, the volume was there, the way you just mixed up all the tools. So again, I'm going to give him a lot of credit because the kid can fight you know what he I mean he can fight and, his ass off he and takes I can guarantee you we're, we're going to meet again but oh, obviously yeah. I've got jobs, uh, jobs to do and it's going to be a big fight you know and people are going to uh, really really want to watch that one so. and the reality is they need to be scheduled again right? because nobody else, else has proven to be able to fight them and not only fight them but look at what they both did to Brian Ortega mm -hmm. look at what they both do to the other fighters in the division so it's very clear that they're 1A and 1B and 1A and 1B need to compete again for a third time. And even Dana being open to it, Ryan, tells you how close and competitive these fights are because they hate giving a guy a third fight with right. a champion when they've lost the first two.